So, the first step, perhaps the key to solving these is organization. So let's say we're given the following. We have two people, Jack and Jill, and they're doing some job, painting a wall, anything of that kind. So then we know intuitively that the job is completed as two people work on it. So there are contributions from both people. We have to express the fact that there are contributions from both people mathematically. Well, let's see how we do that. Let's say Jack's work rate is one job every five hours. So imagine that if Jack had to paint a wall alone, it would take him five hours. If Jill had to do the same job, it would take her two hours. So Jill works faster than Jack. Um, another way to interpret this is as follows. One job every five hours would be, if you take one over five and you write it as a decimal, it's 0.2. So, it would be, I guess, two tenths of a job every hour. And likewise here, one job every two hours is the same as half a job every one hour. Okay. So these are the work rates of Jack and Joe. Now, as time passes, both people work, and so each makes a contribution to the total completion of the job. Well, then we can say that <clears throat> one-fifth of a job per hour times the number of hours, which we call T, that Jack works. <clears throat> so his contribution to the total completion of the job is one-five T. Okay, one fifth of the time that they work, and T here is the total time that both work on the same job. Likewise with Jill, her rate is one job every two hours. You multiply that by T, where T is time, and so you have the her total contribution to the completion of the job is one half T. So pretend that you have the following: one half job per hour times the number of hours and you see that the hours cancel, these are units, and so I'm left only with jobs, one half job. Okay? So that then shows us that this term represents Jack's contribution to the total job, this is Joe's contribution to the total job, and now we know that once they finish their job, that one whole job has been completed. So we write one job. Now I will write this using units as follows. One-fifth job per hour from Jack times the time he works plus one-half job per hour times the time Jill works, which is T. They work the same amount of time. And this whole thing has to be equal to one job. Now, if you had, for example, the number 5 here, or the number 2 here, instead of job, of the word job, then you could cancel that. Well, it's the same thing with units. You can cancel the job units. You can cancel job from here, from here, and from here. So now we have the following. 1 fifth, or 1 over 5 hours, T, plus 1 half over... 1 over 2 hours t is equal to 1. 1 no longer has units. So what's happening now? Well, we've got to simplify the left hand side. And remember what the 1 means. It means one full job. 100% of a job. Okay. So now we'll drop the units, the hours units. So now we have this. Just keep in mind that they're really there. You just don't use them to simplify the calculations. So now I have to add one fifth and one second. So we have the following. I'll erase the top. Uh, I'll leave the top line. We have one fifth t plus one half t equals one. Well, I can multiply across by ten. So let's see what happens then. Ten times a fifth is two, so it becomes two t. 
10 times 1 half is 5, so it becomes 5t. And here we have 1 times 10, which is simply 10. Okay, so I've taken an equation involving fractions and simplified it to an equation involving integers. Now on this side I have simply 7t. These are like terms. So I'll write that over here. 7t is equal to 10. So this symbol here means implies, which means that t is equal to 10 over 7. Okay? And the units here are now. So the time required to complete the entire job, given that Jack works at this rate and Jill works at this rate, is 10 sevenths of an hour. Now what is 10 sevenths of an hour? Well, how could you think about it? It would be like saying, take an hour, divide it into seven pieces, and then take ten of those pieces. That's what the fraction ten sevenths means. It means literally, I'll erase this here, the ten sevenths means one seventh plus one seventh plus one seventh all the way to this. And there are turn ten of these terms. So all you're doing is taking one hour, 60 minutes, dividing it into seven equal pieces, and then you're taking ten of those pieces. So in our case, what does this mean? Well, we'll translate as follows. Ten divided by seven is... It doesn't go into one, it goes into ten one time. So we have one... So we have one and three sevenths of an hour. 